Hey, what's going on everyone? Dr. Tyler here, and I have a beard. Let me know in the comments, do you, you guys like the beard? When I look at myself in the mirror, I think I look like a bum. But people keep saying that they like it, and I don't know if they're just trying to make me feel better or not. Like, hey, yeah, I like it, it looks good, man. So just be honest in the comments, please. We got a really cool one for you today. I actually see this every freaking day. People ask me all the time about headaches. I did a really good job in this video, kind of explaining what I was doing. Um, and it was successful. You know, she's gonna feel a lot better for sure. And if she doesn't feel better, it's important to know that after that, because it didn't get better and I did everything that I wanted to physically, we gotta look at the emotional aspect and the chemical aspect. Chemical aspect is what she's putting in her body and what she needs internally. Emotional aspect is, you know, any type of past trauma, stress, sleeping habits, stuff like that. We would look into that later on if she said, hey, it didn't really help or it made it a little bit worse, something like that. Just keep that in mind. She's got headaches on the right side right here. She actually works at the gym that I go to and I see her face every day. So, you know, one day she was like, hey, what's up? I heard you're a chiropractor. Can you, uh, can you help me? And I was like, What's up? I got a beard. Yeah, I can. Now we're best friends. If you like this content, like and subscribe. And uh, before we get into the video, here's a quick word from our sponsor, FlexiSpot. Oh, hey guys. Don't mind me. I'm just on a really comfortable chair. It has some pretty special uses. I like to chill in between patients, so I like to, you know, sit on a chair. But this one specifically, it goes back all the way. There's a kickstand that comes up. And, you know, if you're having low back pain and it's really hard to get up out of a seated position, this one actually goes up. It actually elevates all the way, so you don't really have to, like, use your muscles to get up, especially if you have pain or you're elderly or you got feet issues. It'll bring you all the way up and you can kind of just, like, stand off of it. It's kind of cool. And it vibrates and it heats up pretty freaking awesome. As you can see, I'm just using remote. So look at this, you know, if it's hard to get up out of a seated position, especially if you're here for a while, cause you know, you might fall asleep or something. You can just come right off, super easy. So we brought the chair out in here so um, I could show you that it goes all the way back and the legs kick up. So here are the legs coming up, not to mention it's pretty comfy. Okay, so legs are up and I'm going all the way back. It's basically like a bed that turns into a chair that goes up, down, and it freaking vibrates. It's perfect if you have back pain and it's, it's uncomfortable to sit. You can lay down and vibration's good to, to create blood flow, to stimulate all those receptors around the areas of pain, just to kind of make it feel better, you know? The maximum weight it can withstand is 400 pounds. And apparently that's the highest in the market for chairs like this. I feel like a chair like this, it would be like a couple grand. Like this is 500 bucks. That, that's like insane. So yeah, it comes with a complimentary pillow, free. We love free things. And it has an adjustable headrest as well. It literally has everything you need. So if anyone's watching this that's interested, we're gonna have a code in the description. You get $50 off your order. If you buy one, you get another one half off. And if you buy two, you get one for free. If you're interested, check out the description and uh, yeah, let's get to the cracking. What's up, Lily? Hello, am I tense? A little bit, dang. Are you, are you nervous? Right there. A little bit. Every time I go in the gym, I see her. Yeah, I'm working and, literally every single day. And one time she was like, can you help me? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I'm broken really really tight on the right side she said she has a headache here she has a little bit of jaw stuff that i noticed i'll take a look at that have you been diagnosed with anything nope any autoimmune stuff nope pretty yeah. healthy what does that even mean anymore yeah honestly you know they I say mean? i'm healthy but i'm constantly in pain so i'm invited to sell beauty products on tiktok shop i get really distracted lily it's okay it's tell ADHD. me about you uh not much honestly i cook I went to a culinary program. What? I finished that. You came here and you didn't bring me any food? And I you actually cook? considered it. I really did. I was going to make like cinnamon rolls or something. But. Bro. I didn't. Those Sorry. are literally my favorite. Really? Yeah. I love making cinnamon rolls. Wow. It's are you gaslighting like my me? Specialty. No, I'm just making you crave it. That's all. Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to give you shit for that. Yeah, every time I see you now. Every time I see you, I'm going to ask, where are they at? Except you'll be at the gym, so you'll just feel guilty for No asking. way. I would still eat it before I work out. I don't know if that's a good thing. It's not, but I would still do it. But then I guess you get to work it out, so. Yeah. Man. 
You got a lot for me today. <laughs> it's crazy. Doesn't this like hurt at all? It feels good though. It's good pain. Yeah. I'm like unfazed. Or you're just crazy. A little bit of both. Nothing wrong with being crazy. You have a point. That's what my mom told me. Okay, so a lot of times those headaches come from like either the shoulder or in this upper neck or even kind of in the jaw. I'm gonna work on all of it, okay? Because I care so much about you. Wow, I'm so grateful. I really wanna get rid of your headache. I can't. I welcome in the same without you. <laughs> so students, a lot of, um, it's not like a soft buildup, it's like a hard buildup right under her occiput. I'm going a little aggressive on it because it's not soft, it's not puddly, it's not fluidy. It just feels like dry. It's a good way to put it. Sometimes if I feel like swelling in here, I won't, I won't go nearly this aggressive. It feels good to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's good that I can go this hard because it's, you know, it's gonna do a lot for you. I mean, this is pretty painful, but sometimes I can't even go this hard and it's just not as effective. So her jaw kind of goes a little this way. Open your mouth, close. See, this, this is just a little tight. So open, close. Open. I'm just gonna try to open it up a little bit. So feel it lock out there. Good. So that was jaw, occiput complex. It's really good. That was nice. And then we'll hit the atlas here. Good. Very nice. I'm Great job. Speechless. Same. Flat hand here. Give me a hug. Leave your head on the table. Beautiful. Okay, I'm looking for a spot in her, like, levator area, but can't really find anything, which is weird because I'm usually always right. It's kind of crazy, but I think I got that one wrong. It's almost like her shoulder blade's getting in the way of where I want to go. It's like right here. It's like the tip of her shoulder blade just getting in the way. Okay, that'll open it up a little. Did find a spot here. So let's do some ischemic compression. And again, she has right temporal headaches. She has headaches right here. Can come from the jaw, can come from the upper neck, the upper trap, from the shoulder blade. So we're just gonna treat it like it's all of them together. And hopefully one of them works, right? <laughs> but if you're watching this students, you know, it's hard to diagnose one area that it's coming from. It's usually all of them. And none of us are smart enough to understand her body on the first visit. You know, the body's pretty complex. It hides things. It's scared. If your clinician asks, well, which one is it? Is it the upper trap or, or the shoulder blade? Tell them that it's both. And then look them in the eye and then wink. <laughs> oh, God. Left side sacrum? Right side is gonna be L5. Okay, Lane, your left side facing me. Okay, so she's pretty flexible. We gotta get right on L5 though, so gotta do a good job locking it out. Good. Other side. And this one, I think it was the sacrum, but I couldn't really tell, so yeah. I usually just wait till we can feel it on side posture. Ooh. That was like that was upper low back too. <laughs> Sometimes you just get it all, you know? But we got a little bit of the sacrum, so that's good enough. It's hard to be completely specific. Go away, freaking alignment nerds. Jeez, leave me alone. <laughs> You know what I mean, Lily? Are you calling me a nerd? That's my joke. I just stole it, so. <laughs> that's, and I made it better. That's fine. Ooh. Damn. That was nice. Have you seen the, the really scary neck pull thing I do? Yeah. Hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what if I told you you didn't need it? I don't know. You're the one that knows. Do I? Actually, good question. That was your first mistake. Does this feel good? Mm. Yeah, that's gonna be good. I think you can benefit from it. Let's do it. I thought you said I didn't need it. I said, what if I told you you didn't need it? I just wanted to see what you said. Fair, fair, fair. It's a way that I judge whether or not you came here looking for this, no matter what. You know what I mean? And I don't know if I came here looking for it. I think you came here looking for violence. Yeah. I always yeah. love to fight. Slide down a little bit. You, you're, you're a fighter. Fighting's fun. Lift your head up. Is this okay in your cheeks? Mm-hmm. Okay. Remember when I was pulling uh, your head up? Let me know when it starts to feel like that. Just kind of like right a nice there. stretch. Okay. And let me know when you can feel the stretch go into like the mid-back. Oh, oh my god. Oh my 
my god. Oh yeah. my god, that was so good. Another thing that the headaches could be yeah. a little bit of compression in the upper neck, C1, C2, jammed, C3 a little bit too. Pulling those apart, you know, we're gonna open it up, You're give just... it some room to breathe. So that's another thing that it could have been. I just treated it like it was five different things. Obviously we have to look at her diet, any type of inflammation or um, anything she's allergic to as well. So good job. But I don't do that. <laughs> I just crack backs, you know what I mean?